When we talk about things that are evolving and developing, one of the areas that have always been very important to me is the level of intergovernmental communication and cooperation. Now, what do we mean by that? We mean area municipalities, town of Hall, village of Whiting, village of Plover, city of Stevens Point, Park Ridge, uh, surrounding municipalities, Linwood, Carson, working together in a cooperative nature. And recently, I wrote to the chairman of the town of Hall, who had expressed to me, uh, John Holdridge, had written me a letter a few weeks ago, uh, seeing if there was any interest in some formal collaboration between the city of Stevens Point and the town of Hall when it comes to long-term comprehensive planning involving both the town of Hall and the city of Stevens Point. I responded in the affirmative, uh, reminding Chairman Holdridge that in the past, uh, our histories of working together is very rich. Uh, if you stop and think for a moment, sometimes things that we have done in the last 10 or 15 years that we now take for granted today were really the result of intercommunication and governmental cooperation between the various uh, governmental agencies here in Portage County. Let me give you a couple of quick examples. My favorite one that I'll talk a little bit more about later in this program, if I get to it time permitting, is of course the paramedic program. Uh, we implemented, working together cooperatively in 1999, a paramedic medical program that serves every municipality in Portage County, not just the city of Stevens Point, but provides the highest care and qualified medical service to every municipality. We work together jointly when it came to a number of telecommunication issues. We have always worked together in a cooperative spirit. In 2006, when the first comprehensive plans were written not only for the city of Stevens Point, but for every town and village in Portage County, again with all of the village, town, and city leaders at the same table working together in a cooperative spirit. Another good example might be our transit service. When I took office in 1995, yes, it was that long ago, uh, our transit service, City Bus, served the city of Stevens Point constituents well. Uh, but we were only a city bus service at that time. Well, with time, the service expanded to expanding our routes into the village of Whiting and into the village of Plover uh, with a stop in Park Ridge, uh, servicing Crossroads Commons again with a really fine public transportation system that we simply grew by the governments of surrounding Stevens Point working cooperatively in building a transit network that, serve, you know, again, serves Whiting and parts of Plover and uh, portion of Park Ridge, and we're currently talking with the county about a plan that might allow us to expand to cover more of the county's transportation needs, uh, transportation needs beyond the boundaries of Stevens Point, Plover, and Whiting. So very early in the stages of exploring that, but there are opportunities there that our transit team, in, under the leadership of Susan Lemke as our transit manager, and, and Joel Lemke, uh, no relation by the way, I've often, when I put those two together, there's no relation, uh, have put together a very exciting concept to basically expand our public transportation offerings to multiple communities here in Portage County, again through a strong partnership of area municipalities working together in a cooperative spirit. I'll give you another example, since I'm giving examples here, that uh, in uh, the early oh, 2003, 2004, 2005 area, we partnered with surrounding municipalities, including the town of Stockton, town of Hall, village of Plover, in what was called an addition to the Stevens Point Sewer Service District. Now, most of you sitting at home going, oh, who cares about the Stevens Point Sewer Service District? Well, let me tell you why it's important, and the city had to have approval from all those surrounding municipalities to expand the sewer service district because without land being in the city's sewer service district, annexation of that property is not possible. And without annexation, we would not have had the Portage County Business Park that we have today. Of course, it's in the city of Stevens Point. And as was reported during the Andrew Halverson administration, the development of the East Park Commerce Center began basically east of Berleski Road. That None of that could have occurred if it hadn't been earlier uh, when we sat down uh, during my third term and spent a, quite a bit of time working with surrounding municipalities to bring that acreage into the Stevens Point Sewer Service District. If the surrounding municipalities had said no, there would be no East Park Commerce Center development today. The land would not have been in our sewer service district and would not have been eligible for creation of that business park. So sometimes, I guess the lesson here 
is long-term cooperative planning with our neighbors can pay benefits well into the future. So there is a good reason to get along with our neighbors and to work cooperati cooperatively as we have in the past with surrounding municipalities.